Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the DC Coin World channel. Here I've got two great coins to share with you. Both of them are dated 1971 and come from the great country of the United Kingdom. So the one on the right is the one penny coin. The one on the left is the two pence coin. So both of them are dated 1971. 1971 is a very important date for United Kingdom coins because in 1971, that's when they switched over to the decimalization system. So in 1971, uh, it was rather easy to convert these uh, values of these coins. So two pence was abbreviated .02GBP, and the one penny is just .01GBP. Prior to that, you had to do like one uh, penny was worth one twelfth of a sterling, which was worth 240th of something else. So it was a little bit confusing prior to that. I might not have gotten those exactly correct, but the conversion factor after, after the decimalization system was much, much easier to understand and to comprehend. So that's why we have these two pennies right here to share with you. Also, the mintages on these two particular coins are astronomically high. Super, super, super high. So let's start with the one on the right, which is the one penny coin. So in this, uh, we'll talk about the mintage, how many of these were made, as well as the metal content, design characteristics, and other great stuff that you would expect to see on this channel. Let's start off with that mintage amount. So the mintage amount for the 1971 one penny is 1,521,666,250. So just to reiterate that, 1.5 billion of these were made. If you've got one of them, unfortunately, it's probably not going to be too rare unless it's one of the proof coins or the... Uh, so there are a couple different types of proof coins that were made. There were 350,000 of the 1971 proof coins that were made. There were also proof coins only made in 1972. If you've got one that's dated 1972, that's going to be extra rare. And this is kind of common when you see a conversion like this. The first year of production, the mintage amounts are very, very high. And then the years after, they don't really need to produce as much. So they didn't make any circulating coins in 1972 for the one penny. And then in 1973, they only made 280 million of the 1973 one penny coins. Now you see the new penny at the top that indicates that it is after the conversion of the decimalization system. Prior to the decimalization system, you had pennies that were like this size right here. So as you can see, a much smaller version is this one right here, which is dated 1971. As far as the design, on the obverse of the coin, we see the second crown portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And then back to this side right here, this uh, design is a crown portilius uh, with chains. It's an adaptation of the badge of Henry VII, which is now the badge of the Palace of Westminster. So we got a nice good look at the uh, one, new one penny right here. Now let's transition over to this one right here, the two new pence. So a similar design as far as it says new pence at the top, uh, but the image in the center of the coin is a little bit different. The image in the center is the badge of the Prince of Wales, which is a plume of ostrich feathers with a coronet. And then in the, in the motto, we see Ike Dien, which uh, translates to I serve in German. This particular design was used from 1971 until 1981. Its value is 0 0.02 GBP, and that translates to about 2.6 United States cents. It's got a bronze metal content to it. And the mintage amount, how many millions or billions of these were made? Well, in 1971, there were 1.4 billion of them made. So uh, to be exact, there were 1,454,856,250 of these made. That's compared to the one penny we were looking at earlier, which had a mintage of 1.5 billion. So pretty much the same uh, mintage amounts between the two pence and the one penny. We flip it over, we see uh, the same obverse design that we saw with the one penny. This is the second crown portrait of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So let me put these side by side and then I will start to sign off. So again, on the right, we have the uh, one penny and then on the left, the two pence. 
the two pence is worth twice as much as the one penny coin right here. All right, everyone, that's all I've got. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.